Hi, I'm Glenn Heemstra of Futurist.com, and this is my outlook for 2011. I actually wrote the outlook a little over a month ago, but did not produce a short video as we've done in previous years. But after receiving several requests, we've decided to go ahead and give you a short video summary of what's in the article, which you can find at Futurist.com if you go to the website and just search for Outlook 2011. In my outlook, I begin with a discussion of demographics and social policy. I take note of the fact that the age wave has finally crashed on shore as the first baby boomers began to turn 65 at the beginning of the year. But my forecast has to do with the likelihood that the age wave, along with the federal deficit, will be used as leverage to attempt to reform Social Security, which has the danger of changing Social Security in ways that make it less secure for the future rather than the other way around. And the U.S. population depends heavily on Social Security for their retirement income. And this is likely to be more true in the future rather than less as more and more private companies drop their pension systems, shift to 401k investment-based systems, which are less stable, less secure because of their reliance on the U.S. stock market. And therefore, it becomes important to do things that preserve Social Security for the long-term future. It turns out, of course, it's quite stable. You don't have to do anything to have it pay out full benefits to the year 2037, but if you make just some minor tweaks, you can make it last into the long-term future, and this debate will be something to watch in this year. I discuss technology, both consumer technology and larger scale technology. On the consumer side, we'll see continued growth in 3D entertainment, 3D communications, but of course the biggest story will be the rapid uh, emergence of tablet computing as a major consumer force, beginning with the iPad last year, but picking up as uh, lots of other companies begin to produce their own tablets and sell them this year. At a larger scale, I think it'll be interesting in 2011 to watch what happens with the smart grid or the intelligent grid, which the electricity in industry is interested in, uh, and which uh, needs uh, both social policy and technology and all kinds of things to be put in place so that we can build a smarter, more efficient electricity grid, which enables upstream and downstream flow of electricity as uh, well as accounts for smarter appliances and devices and electrification of the transportation system. On the subject of the environment, the thing to watch for in 2011 will be science around the subject of big storms. The safest forecast coming from the field of climate change science is that we will have more and much larger storms than we have seen in recent generations. And of course, the beginning of the year seems to suggest that might be true and might be coming true sooner uh, rather than later, and it'll be something to watch for. In the field of energy, I focus just for a moment on the concept of peak oil and suggest that peak oil may be further off in the future than we thought just a few years ago because of discoveries of oil, more efficiency at getting oil out of current wells. And unless we see changes in national and international policy around subsidies to fossil fuel companies, and more emphasis on alternative energy, I think we'll see not much change in the use of fossil fuels this year. And we'll see relatively stable oil prices, probably mostly under $100, although recent global instability suggests there may be some volatility around oil prices. Regarding the economy in 2011, I expect that we'll see gathering momentum toward recovery in the United States and elsewhere around the world, and that includes improved job growth. But beneath the story of the bigger economy and jobs, I think there are two more interesting kind of subtle and yet critical stories to watch for this year. One is the question of whether we have permanently shifted into a more frugal economy. Recent statistics suggest that people going back to work are ending up in jobs that pay less than the jobs that they left during the recession. And to me, that's just one number that suggests that we might have permanently shifted to a somewhat more frugal kind of approach to the economy. And the second interesting and I think quite critical story will be the continued bifurcation of the U.S. economy and uh, economies elsewhere in the world between the super rich and everybody else as more income flows to the top. And some recent research, which I point to in the article and which you can find uh, in the article, find links to, uh, suggests that societies that have this great bifurcation between the very wealthy and everybody else become over time less happy, less successful, and eventually less stable. And that will be something that eventually needs to be paid attention to, although I don't expect too much attention to be paid to it in 2011. So that's my outlook for the year. We wish you a happy and successful year. Come to futurist.com, search for Outlook 2011 in the blog or in the articles archive, and you can find more information, including links to some references and resources.